Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 191 of Trials and Trebuchets, a Dungeons and Dragons podcast run by me and my friends, me being Luke and my friends being my players, whose names are. Hello, I am a friend. I'm also a player. It's me, Ben, and I play the level 10 gnome <laughs> wizard, Windsor <laughs> Wallaby, along with his cute cat companion, Kitty, Mr. Wiggle. Meow. <laughs> 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 Hello, it is me, a friend of me, and I'm Carla, and I play the level 10 Tiefling Roguelock, also Memphis Rat Slayer, Rats Integrity Slayer. Idleberry. That's it. <laughs> oh shit. Sarah, you go now. Hi, my name is Sarah, <laughs> and I play Mira Marchand, the level 10 half elf bard. Enough about rats. It's time to defeat the big cheese. Oh I was waiting God. for Carla to sing and she didn't sing. I was like, fuck, do I talk? <laughs> In Hi, shambles. I'm Sam. I don't usually sing and I'm not going to now. I play the level 10 human sorceress, Sarah Nep Sunderman. Also a rat, but they are gone now. And so I am back to being just Sarah Nep Sunderman. And last time on Trials and Trebuchets, Integrity and Idleberry and Winsler and Wallaby <laughs> fought off the Cranium Rat Sages in the archives, taking one prisoner after slaying their leader, Memphis. The two students slash rat catchers then turned the rat over to the archive authorities, the Modrons, before worrying their friends Serenep and Mira with talk of poisoned water and a lady of the deep. However, the night passed and they didn't have to fucking worry about that any longer. The threat had passed with the rats. We find ourselves at Wildcliffe School of the Arcane, obviously, um, in the early, early hours of the morning. Uh, our four wonderful students, uh, if you would be so kind as to wake up early for me and oh, no <laughs> <laughs> because if you do recall there is an appointment oh shit <laughs> Damn. A appointment there is an appointment to be had with your headmaster mm -hmm. uh, so we could say that perhaps Serenep woke up early keenly and did the rounds gathering the th three other students up um, are you dressed for your days or are you just going to show up to this wonderful meeting in like a half ready state? Uh, I'm not going to show up to half ready. Yeah, Serenept is like dressed in the uniform and everything, wearing like a different muscle tee underneath <laughs> the robes. And she's like carrying like <laughs> a fantasy like to go cup with coffee in it. As she like kind of like what? walks everyone to uh, where we have to meet with Crow. Wonderful. Wonderful. Mira has cast disguise self, except the only <laughs> change, the only change she has made to herself is that she has made her T-shirt say Mira nine three five. Nice, <laughs> amazing. Yes. Sarah, you know the year Wait. is nine fifty five, right? Oh, and it, what, that's what I meant. Nine fifty five. Cannot change the year We're going again. Back in time. I said, cannot do this to me. It was an old shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's eight hundred, right? <laughs> Uh, Mira 955, you heard it here, folks. <laughs> and Integrity, I, Idleberry, what are you do doing? Um, Integrity is awake, but she's definitely cozy and warm with her sweatpants. And she's wearing um, like loose, big uh, jumper, you uh, know, being cozy, being warm obviously. on this winter cold day. Mm -hmm. Well, it's spring, so you know. Spring. Anyways, spring cold it's, it's just it's so brisk, you know, at least. just so all you know, my players, it is spring nine fifty five. The su the season of spring and the year nine fifty five. When did a year it, since we started? When did oh, spring fuck. weather actually ever long, start? Long right at spring, birthday? never. I don't know that. True. Uh, today would be the second day of spring. Exactly. <laughs> so winter weather still. <laughs> We're Canadian. Anyways, I mean, there's snow on the ground. Doesn't what? matter. Doesn't matter. Stop, please. <laughs> <laughs> the four of you in half sleepy, half campaigning, uh, two fifth, two halves fully ready for the day. The four of you make your way to the greenhouses. It's these four rectangular buildings of glass and steel with plants inside. Uh, it, insulated against the cold from the external world you all arrive and see in one of the greenhouses let's say greenhouse number three because it's just the one you see a man 
uh, in grayish robes with dark black ha- or dark skin uh, and black brown hair, uh, a very nicely kept manicured beard. Uh, oh, say crow, you see him. He seems to be in this early morning hour uh, as there the light has not yet um, grown on campus and it's still dark. You see this man walking in the greenhouses seemingly uh, as if uh, a, a, as if a fancy person would do at a regular garden uh, in their like castle. However, this is not a castle and this is not his garden. It's the school's garden. You see him walking here uh, very relaxedly and next to him as you walk towards the entrance to the greenhouse, you can all see a uh, about five foot ten uh, golem with a golden robe. Uh, And it's similar to these other golems that you've seen on campus in this new year. Uh, It does not have a full fat tear of an angel on its head. Instead, it is a small little crystal embedded right at the top of the neck. This one seems to be some goldeny, orangey uh, crystal of sorts. But the four of you walk in and are now within the greenhouse. Uh, You can close the door behind you. It feels nice and temperate in here and unseasonably warm. Integrity, you immediately start to sweat as you have overdressed for (laughs) winter conditions. Uh, But Crow does not seem to, like, turn to acknowledge you in any meaningful way. So tell me, uh, students, how would you like to get his attention right now? Is he being dramatic or does he not know we're here yet? Um... I think he might know we're here, but I think he, I don't know. So this is just like a, a being dramatic and intimidating kind of thing? Like waiting to Make see who breaks sounds. first? <laughs> Make bird sounds. Why would there be birds in a greenhouse? <laughs> caca, caca. Because integrity's here. The birds are always bothering her. Okay. You do look up and see birds perching on the top of the greenhouse. Okay. I Okay, I wasn't expecting bird sounds to be the solution to this. I, I... Crow leans over and inspects a small flower, touching it. And like poking at it with like a small silver like stick that he has. I'm okay. I'm just someone has. I'm to just gonna. Say uh, okay. I'll, okay. Okay. I'll go. I'll go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> 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 integrity, integrity stands there. It makes a caw sound. The rest of you whispering with one another. Okay. I, I'm just. You see a s- slow smile creep across Crow's face as he still continues to not look at any of you. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> uh, good morning, uh, Headmaster Crow. And he looks up, and he looks over at the golem, and he will, like, nod his head at it, and then he will turn to the four of you with a little bit of, like, a smirk on his face, and he'll say, Good morning, students. I am glad that you found me uh, right as planned. Uh, just give my golem associate one moment. And he will look over at the golem. You can all also look over at the golem and see that it, after a second, the little crystal begins to glow a bright color. Um, you can make a check on that if you really want yeah, to. Uh, it, that's up to you, though. I'm, I'm sure. going to make note of that. I'm, you can make note of it, or you could do I'm anything gonna, I'm just, Yeah, I'm going to uh, roll. What do you want me to roll for do that? You, would you like to? I would like you to roll Arcana for that, Saren. Oh, me. absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> it got stuck under something. Oh, that's a 19, though. 19 plus Ooh. 6, so 25. Wonderful. And staring up, you are uh, attuned with magical forces of nature. Uh, you feel a, hmm, a little wave of magic c- cross over your body, uh, It and you f- hear immediately as Crow continues, like, stepping. You hear that it's a much more, like, muffled environment within this greenhouse, almost as if a it is a zone w- w- outside of which people cannot listen into. Uh, oh, sh- like the greenhouse has been sealed shit. shut with magic, uh, at least for like voices and such, noises. Hmm. It's gonna kill us. <laughs> and he will say Instant. Uh, Mr. Horse Wrangler brought to my attention that the four of you, or at least you Miss uh, Miss Sinderman, wanted to speak with me. Um, yes, that's correct. Um, as you know, uh, mm, some of our possessions and uh, comrades did not be weren't brought to us after we correct. got back from Troil, and i just kind of wanted to know that's correct uh where they are and if we can have them back now well uh your possessions which you left inside of my town and you will put a hand on his chest very gently which you left inside my town uh, i've done you the favor of bringing them back for you yes um 
after you had disappeared on a internship where I was brought you into a uh, very secure uh, town that I do not let many outsiders from my company into. Uh, you had disappeared, if you do recall, for two weeks. So I view it as a kindness, yes, that I returned your things alongside mine. And yes, I can return your items to you, your luggage and small presents. Yes, I can do that. No worries. Is that all that this meeting is about? Well, we're, we're super appreciative of that, really. Um, mm. But we also had one of our friends with us. Um, yes. Would you happen to know where she is? Because uh, Allah Algram asked me to take care of her, and it's pretty important. Hmm. So I had heard, yes. Uh, you're speaking, I believe, of the disgraced Angelica Lindman, correct? Disgraced hmm. mm -hmm. Angelica Lindman. Yeah, disgraced probably wouldn't be, like, the first thing I would, but yeah. Of course. She is safely under my uh, watchful eye, or extended eye, I should say. If you don't mind me asking, as I do think I have some right to know, why exactly did you bring an unconscious girl so far north with you and then abandon her? The abandonment really wasn't by choice. We kind of... Well, we went into the catacombs and... Mm. It, well, the reason is because, like... Basically, well, I revivified somebody because one of the outside, you know how it's dangerous outside trial, and I brought somebody back, and so they were like, oh, we have to go to the catacombs, and then we got trapped in there. That doesn't answer the question of why you brought Angelica Lindman to my town. Well... So why is she under your supervision, Mira Marchand? Mm, it was that's... a strange rumor I had heard, and I didn't quite believe it, and then you brought her along with you, and I'm so... Curious as to how you would explain it. Well, she was she was in a coma, and she was she was in the infirmary for a while. And mm. um, Alla Algrim was there, and she asked me to take you know make sure that everything in the school was okay. Mm. And as she a said, steward of sorts, or so I've heard. Yes, and basically mm. she looked at Angelica and was like, "Okay, well, you have to do something about her because like nobody else is going to claim her, and she's just sitting there." So it just kind of fell to me. I, I don't think that anybody else would have mm. done anything if I hadn't. How altruistic. So the Lady of the Woods has no interest in this girl or her mm. well-being? I mean, I just, know that, I just know the duty that I was given. I don't, mm. know, I don't know what else there is to it. Now, Mira. Mm -hmm. Is this a duplicitous statement? Is <laughs> yes, this... it is. Yes, okay, it is. Okay, perfect. Could you make a deception I know that, check for me? I know that the Lady of the Woods doesn't give a shit if Angelica dies. <laughs> All right. Um, deception, deception, plus nine. Eighteen. Nine plus nine. If you're going to lie to me about conversations which happened on my campus while I've been headmaster of Mira Marchand, I would suggest you rethink it. Okay, fair enough. I wasn't really trying to lie. I just, okay, yeah, she basically said that I had to take care of her because nobody else would or it didn't matter to her. Mm. And so, yeah, I mean, her family doesn't want her. Nobody else, like, like can. And so, yeah, I mean, she's, she's not going to be anybody else's responsibility but mine. But why look after her? I mean, outside of this room, I don't think very many people in the world would... Blink twice if she disappeared tomorrow. I'm one of them. Yes. Part of the reason why I started this meeting. I'm sure her sister is uh, another. But Mira Marchand, why does it fall on you to look after this girl? And why have you taken such keen interest in protecting her? Would it not be smarter to, I don't know, pawn her off on someone with more resources, a uh, better capability to actually look after the girl, maybe bring her back from whatever uh, struck her into this state? If I could tell you that Angelica Lindmond is in excellent hands, and I'm just curious as to why you need more than that. Well, I've been able to talk to her while she's comatose. Um, I mm. don't fully know what's going on with her, but it seems like whatever's happening, she's having some really scary experiences, and I've sort of mm. been guiding her through it. And I don't know if she knows what happened to us, or if she's okay in there, and mm. that's... That's where we've been at. She Now, scary experiences. 
I'm not a medical aficionado, but to my understanding, when someone is rendered unconscious for weeks, almost a full season at this point, they aren't normally experiencing anything quite so dramatic. It is more just a physical ailment. So what's going on with her? Hmm. I don't think we should have any right to tell you anything more than that unless you start telling us some stuff that you've done. Isn't that how that works? You are a businessman after all, aren't you, Crow? <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's right or fair for us to continue to tell us stuff that you're prodding for without telling us something that you've done or information that we want. By all means, I'm very willing to exchange information with you. I was hoping that telling you that she was in safe and in good hands would be enough to tell me what's going on so that I might be able to do something about it. But if you want Clear any other information... Clearly you're asking for other reasons besides just the well-being of Angelica. However, oh. I have a question for you. You wound me. Crow. Yes, what questions do you have? Why did you do it? Take Angelica Lindman on and... No. Attempt to... Why did you do it? Why did you off... Our friend, our golem friend. Why did you do it? Mm. Where was the purpose in doing so? Mm. Yes, Osgul. Why uh, were they and Troil in pieces on a table? Mm. I am headmaster of Wildcliff School of the Arcane. Uh, those two golems, one of whom is disappeared and under mi mysterious circumstances to this day, after the uh, following the death of Headmaster Underbow. Uh, May he rest in peace. And Crow rolls his eyes a little bit when he says that. <laughs> uh, ever since then, those golems have been viewed by the council as somewhat of a danger. I, with full backing of my other uh, counselors on the, or administrators, I should say, uh, took the golem, Ari, with me to Troil, or rather sent it ahead of me uh, for it to be dissected so that I could understand the magic which created it so that we you had no to... right to do that you killed them every single piece of them could be restored to a working condition i assure you but you i don't believe you that they weren't dangerous I kn i'm sure you did i was under the impression as much as anyone else that they were responsible for a fire in the enchantment tower and the death of headmaster underbow but they do you have information that I don't regarding this because I would love to know it. I mean, I've just told you I brought the golem with me, Windsor Wallaby, with the express purpose of figuring out how to create my own. You and your friend, uh, Kurt Orlane, uh, were so gracious as to provide me more information on this subject, and Mr. Orlane even stuck around to show us how to do it. And I did with the intention that it would be used for a reasonable and good purpose. And it has been. I, I don't you. believe you. I've I seen, assure I've you. I've seen how these golems act. I, I've, they're not the golems that we knew. They're, this is not right. I don't care if you're the headmaster of Wildcliff or the mud in my farm. What you did was not right. You might be overstepping your position. I don't think I'm overstepping at all. Okay, very well. I think I've sat in this one spot the entire time and have not moved. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to put my hand on your so shoulder. Young but like we <laughs> have been through things that you would not even comprehend. Oh, I'm sure. Young Mr. Wallaby, would it then be... Agreeable for you that I re I have my artificers at Troil rebuild the golem and send them back to campus. Yes. If you can assure me that they are not dangerous, if you can tell me anything of the circumstances by which Headmaster Underbow died, I would love to know it and clear their name gladly. In regards to, I trust in regards you, to Ari, I, the stop. golem. I trust you insofar as your young golem, Yogg, has been enrolled in this school. I trust that they are not inherently dangerous. I would not create these golems if I believed them to be dangerous. I was operating under the assumption that this one, for some unknown reason, had some sort of violent bend to it. If you can assure me, if you can prove to me, and tell me what actually happened to Headmaster Underbow, I would be glad to use the information you and Mr. Orlane provided, the tutelage Mr. Orlane provided to my artificers, and I would gladly have them reassemble the golem known as Ari and send them back to campus. 
at the very least, we can tell you that we know that the fire in the enchantment department didn't have anything to do with the golems because, you know, we we showed everybody the pebbles that our, our friends all got turned into. It was It was the same thing that was responsible for that. We know because we fought it. And the death of the former headmaster. Was that this demon's doing as well? Something of that sort. Mm. And didn't they interview the spirit of Underbow anyway? Like, wasn't that already something taken care of to show that it... That it happened. Yes. Yes, it did. And yet we're still at this point. You can imagine how unhelpful the man was. All we can do is assure you that it is not the golem's fault. Do you know anything more on this matter? This school has some ominous things within it. Mm. And we don't know a lot, but we just, we can't, we just, you just have to trust us. I just have to trust you. Does this, and he puts up his hand and like scratches his chin, by any means have anything to do with uh, the, what's it called? And he taps his chin almost like facetiously, a bit sarcastically and goes, oh, what what was it called again? Um, and he snaps his fingers. Oh, the ancient empire of Shiora. What? Does it have anything to do with that? How do you know about Shiora? <laughs> <laughs> People outside of this school can know things. You understand that. Uh, beyond that, I know that you have some apparent knowledge of it just due to uh, all of the messages which you sent on your uh, sending slates. Of course, those are my property, and I read through everything you said, uh, speaking of Shiora and other things. So, one more time. Is there any th more information about the death of Headmaster Underbow you can provide me to clear the name of those older generation of golems? I know there's terribly scary things under our feet, but I'm asking for clarification, for knowledge of what you know. If you want me to tell you things frankly and openly, I would only ask that you do the same with me. He was murdered by a snake. I see. And that's not just it? An no, not just any snake. A snake using another body in order mm. to do so. Was it a woman? How did you know? Well, we interviewed the ghost. Did you forget that bit? So you Mentioned do know that the golems didn't do it. The story we were told by Headmaster Underbow is that a unknown woman was found on campus by the golems, purportedly, who brought the woman to his office, and the golems stood by when she killed him. That's the case, then yes, it was a woman that Wonderful. killed Master Crow. A snake, though, you say. Interesting. Perfect. That answers my questions. I, young Mr. Wallaby, I apologize for this terrible misunderstanding. I will send word to my artificers in Troil immediately. Um, and I'm sure they will get started on it as soon as they are finished dealing with a couple of inky terrors, I think is the proper word to use, that were left behind in my town. Uh, to my understanding, that was also all of you, right? Not really our fault. It was one of the vendors that you hired mm. to come to the school, gave us uh. tattoos, and didn't tell us that they would come to life and start mm. attacking people. Very well. Very well. Um, mm. And what about you... Angelica? Are, are you going to give me back Angelica? Look, do you think I'm trustworthy? Do you think that I can take care of her? Because I can. Make a persuasion check, Mira Marchand. Okay. Um, 12 plus 13, uh, what is that, 25? Yes. Well. I can give you the key to where she's being kept and instructions on how to get there. It can be up to you whether or not you want to leave her there or take her back with you and slump her in a bathtub for the rest of her life. We're going to fix her. That's... That's the plan. We don't know how, but it's one thing to just take care of someone in a coma. It's another to find solutions, and we're going to find solutions. I'm sure. Hmm. I think that I only have, unless there was any other business the rest of you had with me, I only have a, a, a small question left for the four of you, which is um, just another matter of clarification. So... You said that you had gone and gotten 
lost or something of the sort in the catacombs. Yes? Yes. Yes. Why is it that after you all went missing, the giants in Troyo died? There was a few of them remaining, so I didn't expect them to, I don't know. I expected to at least have their work for the next 20 years or so. But just one morning, we found them all dead. Dead in their beds. Did they at least die peacefully? I have to imagine. I we wasn't don't there think for it. Giants die in the same way that, like, you or me. I think it's a cycle situation. If they died here, I think they were reborn somewhere else. And how do you come to that conclusion, Mayor Marshall? Well, that's what Great told me after I brought him back, that it doesn't mm. normally work like that. And so your friend Great is still alive? The 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 slay man, if I recall properly? The same thing happened to him, we we think. He sort of, it looked like he died, but I think he's just a different type of giant now, somewhere else in the world. Hmm. I'm surprised they never told you that. They're very mysterious about the certain things in Troil, and it was our agreement that uh, they could keep their small mysteries to themselves, uh, as well as keep their uh, catacombs free of any non-giants. Hmm. Fascinating. Well, if that's everything. Was there just staring daggers? Nothing. Absolutely. Nothing else. Serenep's just happy that they're going to be able to see Angelica again. Okay. He will. Integrity. You happen to see a b- blue squirrel. <laughs> Did I happen to see a blue squirrel? Are you talking about the massive creature no. which now no. lurks in the catacombs beneath my city? No, that one is not blue. That one is an inky thing. I'm talking about a blue stuffed moving squirrel with nine tails. I can't say that I ran into it, I'm afraid. Maybe it snuck back into your things and is waiting for you all right now. That would be a happy coincidence, wouldn't it? And he shakes his head and he kind of like rummages in his robe for a second and will pull out a small... Uh, a golden key, which he will hold out to you, Mira. I shall take it. And you will say, you can find her in the basement of the alchemy department in room 05. Okay. If that's all, I wish the be- rest of you a great semester and Mir Marchand. Good luck in your elections. I'm sure you'll get so much support. Hmm. All right. As we're walking out, I'm going to yeah. like take out a little notepad, and with my mage hand, I'm going to jot down in quotes, altruistic, Headmaster Crow. <laughs> 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 altruistic. As you all approach, the door and Mira jogs this note, jots this note down. You all feel uh, that kind of muffled quality of the room disappear as that golem's little neck crystal stops glowing, uh, and the door uh. opens without any problems. Uh, you hear the sounds of bunch of birds screeching outside that was uh, not audible to you moments ago. And you can all walk out into the kind of like greenhouse uh, surrounding areas. The alchemy building is nearby and Serenaf, even your sweetling is just around the corner. What would you like to do? It is like 6.45 a.m. Still got a couple hours until classes start. Is there anything you guys want to get up to? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I... I got, I got a little ahead of myself there. I probably wasn't a good idea, but I I mean, I wanted I wanted Ari to be okay. It wasn't right what he did. It feels it feels like I let them down. I mean, it makes a lot of sense to be angry about that, right? Like you literally yeah. went there with the purpose of of trying to hoping to help them and Crow just stabbed you in the back and did something totally different. I thought I was doing something. I thought I was doing something right by Doing what they said I should do. This is all my fault. Winslow, that's, no, that's like not this. your fault. I really think that he knows more than he lets on. He was yeah, asking no too many questions. Well, now we know he was reading all our messages. Doesn't that mean he would know that we were on the moon? Did we ever message that? Well, those ones never sent. Oh, yeah. Because there was no, whatever you call it, no way to receive it. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, who knows? But look, um, in terms of like talking about like Shiora and stuff, like we, we we can't take it back now. Hopefully, we just didn't give too much away. You you were worried. You did the right thing. All right. 
I'll, I'll try not to think about it too much today. We got there's some other stuff that needs to be done. Like Angelica's, I, I guess. Yeah, safe I'll, right I'll now. get her. I'll, I'll get Angelica. Um, Look, I know you were yeah. appointed with the uh, whatever. My brain's not working right now. I'm sorry. The steward of Wild the, Cliff. The, the steward. Um, but <laughs> the like steward. <laughs> the steward of Wild Cliff. Little. <laughs> I'm sorry. How do you wait? How do you say it? Steward. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. Um, the steward of Wild Cliff. Um, <laughs> and but like I, I have more than enough room in my. If I even still, I what I'm what I'm trying to say is, you don't have to put her in your bathtub. I have space. I really do appreciate that, Serenup, but she's my responsibility, and I wouldn't feel right. Like I, I did mean what I said to Crow in terms of talking to her and wanting to help. I I don't want to give that up. But thank you. I I really mm-hmm. do appreciate it. Can I? I know I didn't really say a lot in that meeting. I understand she's your responsibility, but she's also my friend, who I've been worried about sick for the last couple of weeks. Can I at least, like, visit or something? Oh, if she, of course. If, like, I'm yes. not allowed to 100%. have her in my room. <laughs> I didn't mean it like a not allowed thing. Yes, of course. And look, we will fix her. We will figure it out. We will get her back. And we will. Mira, mm-hmm. I can see how, like, you know, this is a lot for you. Uh, is there any way that... I can help at all with anything going on in your life. I know that elections mm-hmm. is coming up and you're running and you're also taking, I know that we are ready to sort of help um, Angelica because the potion with uh, Delness is ready mm. to yeah. be used. So, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, like tag me in. Ugh, yeah. Fun. Yeah. Um, uh, actually, actually, integrity. There is one thing that you could do to help me, but only if you're willing. We, I think I might have brought this up yesterday, but are you down for a little bit of, like, sneakery? <gasps> oh my you're gosh, asking me a question like, like you don't know me. Like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, I know. I was just trying to do the whole, like, conspiratorial thing. I want to find dirt on Bailey. I mean, even beyond the whole he's responsible for the Oblex thing, which I feel like we would have to be strategic about, but we can use that, right? Anyway, I was wondering if you would be able to, like, when he's at class, like, we could figure out when both he and if he has a roommate, if he's not, like, one of those advanced students, and when he and his roommate are in class, if you'd be willing to, like, break into his dorm and, like, spy a little bit, you know? I can definitely do that. Um, one thing. Bailey's, like... <sighs> Anyway, but like <laughs> the idea of I know, like I know, right? Yeah. But like if hear me out, here's the issue. If anyone catches integrity, they could bring it back to you very, very quickly. I have the scrying necklace. If we could like maybe like even during our like um and I like gesture over to integrity, even like during our class about like where we basically like mm-hmm. took took a nap and so, dreamed and stuff. Like dreamlike realities. Like that could mm. that could be like an opportunity to like check on him or, or like spy on him. Yeah, like if my class is going to be about that anyway, like in that time, I can like check mm. him out. Mm. I'll take all the help I can get. Yeah, any any form of like info gathering would be a huge help, no matter where it comes from. Just you know, obviously with with being careful and everything. Uh, yeah. A crow standing on a little pedestal nearby, a little blackbird goes. You could break into his room, grab a sock, and then cast scrying on him. Super duper easy. What the fuck? Huh? <laughs> where, where did that voice come from? <laughs> Hello. Who's there. Anyways, that doesn't actually happen. That was just <laughs> oh, <my> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> I literally thought, Luke, what fucking no. Patreon NPC? <laughs> Unbelievable. Mm. But. You guys are right next to the alchemy department where you know now that Angelica Lindman is being taken care of. Held. Uh, whatever that may entail. Mira, <laughs> did you want to check on her before classes or did you just want to yeah. leave her to, in no. a pot to stew? No, I'll, I'll check her out. She's actually in a pot. Okay. We want to make sure that she's alive and she's actually there and yeah. Crow is not just talking out of his ass. I mean, yeah. I'm kind it's, of... We can't, tr- we can't trust his word. Like, he can't trust ours. You know? <laughs> So, would you like to go now, Mira Marchand? Let's do it. Do you bring your companions? I'm going whether she wants to or not. (laughs) Mm -hmm. 
Winslow. I need I need the company of my friends. Okay. <laughs> Continues uh, Winslow, to hug you as we walk. <laughs> as the four of you head to, over to the uh, alchemy building, you do see Winslow, a uh, pastel green cloaked golem with a green little crystal. It's walking and just has a big shovel and seems to be shoveling the pathway with any like light flurries that have fallen down over the night. Uh, and it's just like generally doing like essentially yard work right there. And as you pass it, it doesn't even like wave. There's no funny glance. It doesn't like say anything to you. I think I, just... I think I know what Crow meant by um, ensuring that the golems were not dangerous mm. and that they have no will to do what they are, to do anything other than they're instructed. That's a, that's that pick. That, I'm so mad at him because like the fact that like they said that the go- that the golems didn't try to like physically intervene also shows that they're safe. Right. And he just dragged them off and just... <sighs> Anyways, the four of you happily enter the alchemy happily. building. Everyone's happy. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's happy. We're happy. <laughs> We're happy. Do you think she's alive? Uh, <laughs> don't say and, that. Uh, there's a small staircase, which uh, is very creaky, that you can go down into the basement. There's no one else in this building right now, uh, or so it would seem. Uh, you don't hear anyone else at the very least or see anyone else. You can scoot down into the basement. Uh, it's a cramped little cellar of sorts. Uh, it almost feels more like where you would st- like store alchemical reagents and like grow uh, mushrooms in the darkness versus like uh, an actual basement of a in a school building, but there are many, many uh, locked doors down the long, cramped hallway. Uh, it's so narrow that you might not even be able to walk two by two. It's like uh, maybe just four feet wide. It's very, very narrow in here. Regardless, though, Mira Marchand, mm-hmm. you can lead the way to room 05. It's a big wooden door. It has a small, like metal uh, peek through slot essentially that you could peek through before you unlocked it if you would like to. Sure. Okay. You open the little slot and it, with no one else like looking over your shoulder uh, you can peek in and see what you, you're about to walk in on. You see mm-hmm. there is a unlit room that in your vision is uh, these nice gray tones thanks to your dark vision you see a chunky wooden table that has like the very very barest of cushioning upon it that takes up the center of the room on it lies a body with a threadbare gray blanket draped over her and there is what looks like glistening tubes maybe it's it's a bit difficult to see it almost looks like a three or four tubes that are like draped over uh a a big jar of fluid of a sort it's sitting in the corner uh and it seems that there are tubes going from what who you see angelica lindman's like shoulders over and like up it's like hung along the ceiling to this big jar or receptacle over in the corner that's what i yeah. Like, have I ever seen something like this before? Hmm. Like, roll... is this essentially like an IV bag situation? Yeah, or... yeah, I would say it's very similar to that. Like, it would it would be the same as if, like, someone was, like, in hospital and was getting, like, met, uh, a potion dripped into them slowly so that it didn't go into them all at once and kill them uh, or something of the sort. But that's what you see. So is see. this, like, a recognizable potion? or uh, Make a, from here... You can make it. I'll, I'll, I'll look close oh, up when of we course. get in. I just wanted to, maybe you wanted to like be like, oh, she's fine and send everyone away before dealing with this. That <laughs> was my intention with letting you peek. So mm. you can unlock the door and open it for everyone if you want, if that is what sure. you want. Sure. Okay. Everyone, you see this exact same scene that I've laid out. Mira, you can go over to this vat in the corner and inspect it if you would like. Uh, what you can is... roll for me either Arcana or Medicine checks. What is it with Crow uh, leaving things on tables like bodies? Like Serenep is like across yeah, the kidding. room to Angelica. Like yeah, you walk over to her, Serenep. She looks gaunt. She looks oh. like the, this blanket. You know, takes care of her like general physical needs, but that's just the needs. It doesn't do anything more. So her face has grown very gaunt. Uh, her hair is kind of like thinned out slightly and is a bit like greasy like she hasn't been washed in a while 
Um, Mira, what did you roll? 13 plus 4. So and That was um, medicine or arcana? Arcana, sorry. Okay. Um, you recognize... 13 plus 4? 17? Uh, yeah, 17. Okay. I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, you recognize this contraption generally to be filled with a liquid that you are moderately familiar with. You've seen it a couple times. Uh, you, if you recall, when you first dumped Angelica Lindman in your bathtub, she was always very uh, greasy and sweaty with this kind of like fragranty sweat. That seems to be being collected in this vat. And as it oh. is like dripping in, it, it seems that it has an oily sheen to it. Oh, there's I don't like lid, that. There's a lid on the top that you could take a, a sniff of if you would like. And with a 17, I feel like it makes most sense that you, like, inspected it any way you could. Does that does that seem to track with what you would do? Yeah, do probably. Sniff? But yeah. I wouldn't. Ac <laughs> actually, I don't know if I would lift the lid, though. Okay. okay. Make a sniff check. <laughs> In that case, you see this, like, it almost looks like a vat of oil. It, and you can discernibly tell that it is not going into Angelica. It is, like, being uh, taken from her person. Oh, Okay, okay, I see. Um, I would like to go over to Angelica and just like, just gently touch uh, her forehead with the back of my hand, and I would like to cast a message, even at the expense of physical harm to the self. Okay. Um, I need you to do two things for me. Oh, fuck, okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, no. One is our, our regular um, make a wisdom saving throw to, okay. to see if you'll take the damage from this. Um, that's a 14 plus, what's my wisdom save? Um, zero. That's a 14. I think so. Probably I'll be taking damage. Yeah, let me tell you what that is first. All right. <laughs> Not that much. Only seven psychic damage. That's fine. I need you to make another wisdom saving throw for me, though. Oh, oh dear. For a different thing. Okay. Uh -oh. oh, I think I'd probably make it, uh, because that's, I uh, rolled a 19. Mm. Okay. You make it. <laughs> Do I feel anything, like, trying to happen, or is it just, like, I'm fine? With a 19, you feel nothing. Great. Um, what do you want to send as your message? Hi, Angelica. I'm so sorry. We got separated from you for weeks. I'm so sorry. It's me, Mira. Are you okay? What's going on? Mira, you get a violent flash of, and this is what accompanies this psychic damage that you take. Do you know the garden that you and Delnus had been transported to when you j ate that ash or the dust that one time? In That's Nesca's familiar. abode? You get a very violent, headache-inducing flash of that place and nothing else. Interesting. I'm going to, like, almost just shake her. Not, not like, vigorously, but just, like, a little bit gently. <laughs> like, yeah. just the, the gripping tightly onto her shoulder. I'm like, Angelica, please, can you hear me? Are you in there, Angelica? Do you say this out loud, or is this another message? No, it's another message. Make two wisdom saving throws right. for me, please. Oh, uh, no. First wisdom save. You all save. watch as Mira knocks herself out. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. First wisdom save is an 18. Second okay. wisdom save is a 12. Okay. In that case, just take four psychic damage. Okay. Mira, what's going on? Why are you shaking her? What, what, is she okay? She isn't responding back. It's 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 a vision um, that I've seen in, in Shiora before. Usually she talks back. Cause she's I I don't know if something's happened to her in there. How how are you S slap her? How are you talking to her? Like is it is it your stuff? Like what? How are you? No no no. It's 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 just with magic. I'm just I'm just using magic. But she's not. I'm I'm just getting this headache, and I always get a headache. But this is like it's it's like a a different headache, and I'm just kind of like. I, I, I'm like, okay, maybe they're they're collecting that they're collecting that stuff. We have to unplug it because they're they're taking it from her. And I don't know what they wanted to use it for, but they might already have some. Uh, Mira, wait, what? Yeah, you get the same violent flash of the same place. Maybe this time, actually, hmm, of a kind of terrace overlooking that garden space, and the words you hear are just, "I'm waiting for you whenever you want to speak to me again." Mm, is what this Terrasus's voice? voice? It's Angelica Lindman's voice. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. But in a very serious voice? like In a well, much more serious than you've ever heard Angelica Lindman speak in her entire life. Yes. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. She said, she said, I'm waiting for you if you want to speak to me again. She, but I did try to speak to her. What does she mean? I don't. Um, okay, okay. Um, you said that the, you said that the tubes might be doing something. Can, can we, and like, we have to move her yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, we so have like, to take let's, them let's out. Let's just like get her ready for transport. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I. Yeah, I, I want to bring her to my room. I'll, we'll we'll use the potion. I think she must want us to use the potion. That has to be it. Yeah. we'll we'll find Delnis and we'll uh we'll, we'll let's get her to let's I'll, get her to my room. I'll, I'll help. Let's I'll get her to my room. Deep breaths. Okay. 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 
Wonderful. And I would probably like start to like unplug her from yeah. the sweat collecting machine. Uh, would you like to do that? I would like to do that. A medicine check for yeah, me. Yeah, I would love I'm to gonna make help. A Can I help? What? Yes, I'm going to help how, just because like How do you help cause integrity? Cuz here's the thing, my experience with like cuz this looks like an alchemy It does of, look like a piece of alchemy uh, thing. Equipment. So I yes. feel like I have um I can instruct Mira and help out like, "Oh, don't pull that. That's going to make things pop in a bad way. Absolutely. It's going to splash on you if you do that. You need to do it like in this order kind Wonderful. of thing." Mira, make the check with advantage. Right All here. right, I'll roll oh, two dear. dice at once. Well, they're doing that. I want to like be getting like her like wrapped more securely in the blanket, like to Absolutely. be able to like pick her up and everything when we get moving. Sure. Uh, the two base rolls were ten and fourteen, so that's a final result of sixteen. Okay. Ooh. You pull these tubes out. It's just like a tiny little needle, uh, the same that you would use for like bloodletting or something, uh, because that's a thing that exists in this universe still. People still think that does something. Um, <laughs> uh, you yank them out carefully the first one not so carefully and then integrity is like whoa 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 what are you doing this whoa. is not proper lab protocol and then uh you with her aid can pull the others out easily without causing further harm do you think <laughs> i also want to shove the like jars of sweat or whatever in my bag not because i really want them but because i don't want her to have them <laughs> <laughs> of course um it's like probably the size of like a liter water bottle uh, mm -hmm. And it's like half full, I would say. 500 okay. milliliters of sweat. Uh, add that to your wow. inventory. That's um, a great episode title. It's, <laughs> no, it's, it's 500 milliliters sweat, of sweat. Though. It's aromatic sweat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Serenep, yeah. you bundle her up. What's Serenep's strength? My, Score? my regular strength is... Let me get that pulled up for you. Friend who will do I would nothing love, bad. I would really appreciate that. Uh, my... Regular strength is like 12. Ah, uh, you don't know what's going on, Serenep, but she, uh, even just without rolling, I will tell you, she is far too heavy for you to pick up alone. Like, unreasonably so. Um, like, it almost feels like she is, you know she isn't, because you can look around and see that she is not fastened, but it almost feels like she is fastened to the table itself. Um, I, uh, she's like... Are, are there still uh, tubes that are, like, connected to her right now? Or, because or, she's not really... Oh. Could I try casting Levitate? What's Levitate's spell description? Oh, let me get that pulled up for you. Because I think I know what it is. But I want to hear for certain. A uh, creature object of your choice that you can see within range rises vertically up to 20 feet. Uh, target weight... The, the spell can levitate a target that weighs up to 500 pounds. An unwilling creature that succeeds on a constitution saving throw is unaffected. Saren Slenderman, you can um, point a hand out and begin to cast levitate. And you can spend your spell slot, as the, but the spell will fizzle. Okay. Oh. Mm. I, I, I'm not able to move her. I could oh. try something. Okay. How big is the table? The table is uh, pretty large. It's probably like eight feet long. So a large object, you would say? I would say it's a large object. Okay. Uh, Cast well, catapult. I'm... No! <laughs> oh, <God>. Just <laughs> smash her against the wall. She's... Oh my god, that would be she's terrible. She's dense enough that um, she goes through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Um, I'm going to cast animate objects on just the table. Okay. Um, and I'm going to see if like command it to sort of like float and carry her. What Winsler is a lo the large object's strength score? I know you have that information. Please tell uh, me. It's 14. <laughs> oh no, this is not going to be strong enough either, <laughs> is it? <laughs> you, you all see uh, Winsler, it goes, no, no, I've got this. P flips carefully in his 6.50 a.m. brain to his animate objects uh, page. It's a bit singed around the edges. Well, has a lot of water damage. Maybe a little bit of mildew built up on it. He <laughs> reads the incantation. The legs of the table grow smaller legs. And Ew. then it tries to take a couple of s steps forwards. And all you hear is the table just scraping noisily against the uh, ground. Like, um, okay, 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 stop, uh, okay, stop. Stop. Okay. Stop. The table, table stop. The table stops okay. where it is. Um, um I I could try something. I've I've actually never cast this spell before though, yeah, and I know it, there's not a like a give great a track record, but I might be able to like lift her or something. 
and <laughs> <laughs> heaviest woman alive. <laughs> oh right? no. <laughs> um, okay. I am going to like strum a few notes on my lyre, and mm-hmm. then um this like glow starts to climb up my uh my prosthetic hand, and then it just grows from there, and there's like this giant spectral version of my my prosthetic hand just hovering in the air. I imagine um, it, like it, it it like comes into being like behind you, like a shadow forming, and like it's massive, y'all. It takes up like the same size as one of the walls in this room, this oh. giant spectral mechanical hand, and it's just standing there scarily. There's a super yeah. smash brothers, cast, I need them now. Uh, arcane hand, yes? Uh, yes, Bigby's hand, and I'm going to try to um, push a creature within five feet of it in a direction that I choose. Perfect. Uh, so I make a hand, I make a check with the hand's strength. What um, is the hand's strength score? 26 Mira? plus eight. Um, one second, so, one second, okay. one second, one second. Okay. Make an athletics check with it, or whatever check you need to make with it. Yes, it is a strength uh, contested by the athletics check of the target. If the target is medium or smaller, I have advantage on the check. Okay. It can push the target up to five feet, plus a number of feet equal to five times your spellcasting ability modifier, which would be, um, what is my spellcasting? Plus five, so okay. 25. So 30 feet, I could move her if if, um, okay. if, if this succeeds. By all means, make your uh, okay. contested Two check, rolls. please. Plus is Bigby's hand a cantrip, yes. or is that a um, It is not. It's a very high level <laughs> oh, spell. <no. laughs> okay, We're going to okay. move her uh, 60 feet and then stop. Uh, first roll is a 2 plus 8. Um, second roll is a 14 plus 8, which is uh, 22, Dang. I think. The hand so forms small. a small, a flat palm. It gets into position to push <laughs> with great leverage. It starts poorly, and it's it scoops coaches the table across the ground. It's not pushing Angelica off the table, to be clear. Good. It's just <laughs> pushing the table itself with Angelica on it. And then once it gets a little bit of momentum, a bit a little bit of oomph, it gets some leverage, you see the table begin to be pushed wholly into uh, the hallway. You hear it clatter a little bit as uh. the hand has to contend with the small space. It kind of like pulls it out and pushes it back forward and tries to turn it until finally, yes, the table does start to be pushed down the hallway out of this room as uh, the hand seems to overpower the unconscious girl uh, easily. Once, uh, how many times can once. you do that? Um, well, here's the thing. The spell lasts up to one minute, which theoretically means if uh, I used, but each turn is six seconds, which means I could I do this nine times. more times. <laughs> nine more times, which means I could get her 300 feet, but I do have two fifth level spell slots, so theoretically oh we could get her 600 feet somewhere. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, okay, how integrity, far away integrity. is her door? <laughs> you guys are like... How many feet? Probably like 500 meters. So that's like 500 yards, which is 1,500 feet or so. Are, are we just going to leave her here in the hallway? No, yeah, you push her in the hallway, and then you all walk out in the hallway, and she's just kind of like in the way. Well, I mean, to be fair, the, we did the hand begins how, to. Yeah. The hand continues to push it down the hallway, and like you reach the stairs. Uh, <laughs> Winsler? No. Um, I might... We can try something else. I got one. I got one last thing in my wheelhouse to see if we can, you know, make this a little easier on ourselves. Winsor, the way you were saying um, that, please tell us what it is first before you try it. <laughs> I'm gonna make her smaller. Oh, I see. I like how everyone was like, "Oh, there's an idea." But no, before I said it, you were all like, "Oh my god, what is going I to thought, happen?" I thought catapult uh, was coming up. I was very worried. No, why would I catapult? I don't know. That's why I was her into the wall. Oh, would you like to? Uh, is this you're going to cast reduce upon Angelica? I'm going Lindley? to cast reduce. Attempt to cast Wonderful. reduce. Uh, so <laughs> that if the target is unwilling, they need to make a con saving throw. She's unconscious, so she fails that. Okay. Um. So her size is halved in all directions, and weight is reduced to one eighth of normal. Wonderful. Spectacular. Can you someone see try to Lindman? pick her up? <laughs> you see Angelica Lindman become like two and a half feet tall. It's like uh, she oh shrinks. Ah! She can be bundled up in the little uh, gray blanket as if she is a toddler or a, just a <laughs> halfling who likes to be bundled up in a blanket. This um, is weird. And if any of you, I'm maybe integrity, I'd learn. I'm going to yeah. lift her and like yes. see if she what is your strength score, Integrity I Idleberry? Um, I have a 14. Perfect. You walk over and 
you prepare yourself to hoist this, uh, your friend Angelica Lindman, your acquaintance really, off of the table, and she uh, budges miraculously, easily. So, Sarah, uh, integrity, before you remember that she has been reduced, you think, wow, y'all can't do shit. Inte- <laughs> this is integrity's world, and you're just living in it. And then it, and then it clicks in your head. She has been reduced, and this is not like, like the, this is not the, the force everyone else was dealing with. Uh, you were brought back down to earth a little bit. Um, hey, this but- also does last a minute. Okay. So you I'm going to run. There. Integrity is going to run. She's going to dash. But She's gonna- the, good news, <laughs> the good news is I have three second level Perfect. spell slots and four first level spell slots. Wonderful. And I have, if I take a short rest, I can recover some back. Uh, so I don't think a short rest is going to be enough. <laughs> is you all like push the table onto the side and like run up the stairs <laughs> as Integrity like has an unconscious Angelica Lindemann, two and a half feet tall in her arms. You all just Sprint down the the kind of like icy cobbles that line the paths back towards your dormitories at 7 a.m. Yep. Uh, as a bunch of other people are like walking into dining hall. Move, just, like, move, get out the way! I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to get to my dorm. You, are you going to your dorm? Well, Mira's no, dorm. to or like, Mira's dormitory. To Mira's dormitory. Of but course, like, okay. It's faster no, to yeah, explain to other faster, people. Of course, yeah. you sprint into the doorways. Um, when we probably do have to cast this more than once, uh, by yeah, the way. Uh, yeah. Like, there might be one instance where you get into the actual doors of the dormitory, and then Angelica, like, re- reverts to her original size. Shit. And, uh, you, and integrity? <laughs> integrity? I need to make an athletics check for me. <laughs> do you, break, do you break your back or no? Oh! Um... 24. Oh, that's exactly Ooh. what I had in mind. You feel her enlarging, ba- returning to her regular size in your hands, and you immediately just let her go, and, because if you hadn't, she would have just fallen on top of you and crushed you. And you all hear this, like, colossal smash as her back falls flat onto oh. the ground. It sounds like a massive weight of, like, steel has just been dropped onto oh the stone. Oh, my God. Why didn't God. they just let um, Winsler know to cast the spell again? There might be, like, two or three cracked stones, even. Uh-oh. Uh, oh but Winsler, God. you can cast the spell again. Just cast it again. Quickly, cast it again. Uh, before people walking down the stairs can even before people see. understand what's happening. <laughs> no and then you can all scurry to Mira's room. Mira, you fumble with the keys for, like, a minute. Or, like, a second. Mm-hmm. Two seconds. Three Everyone's seconds. You're like, oh, Fuck. Uh, and then you open the door. Integrity can sprint in. Integrity, you're gonna drop her on a bed or go into the bathtub. Um, we I'm, could probably put her like, um, like right next to my bed because that way, yeah, like, perfect. if we do need to get her out of the bathtub, it's not gonna be like a, a trial every time. <laughs> of course, uh, Integrity, you put the small two and a half foot Angelica Lindman on the ground, lying next to Mira's bed. I'm gonna put a pillow can, under her head. You put a pillow under her head. How long will that pillow last? Nobody's knows. <laughs> um, Nobody's knows. <laughs> <laughs> but you can all stand around uh, the unconscious Angelica Lindman, uh, now visibly very sweaty and greasy, uh, lying next to Mira's bed. Okay, that was intense. <laughs> I think I understand why oh my gosh. Crow was extra confused about the whole fact that and with Angelica and everything. How she? I, I mean, Mira, you were you were like traveling with her. She wasn't that heavy before, right? Like this? No, no, no. This must have been something that happened over those, over those few weeks. <laughs> Listen, I'm out of coffee. whatever we need to do with Angelica, like, I think we need to do it in your room. I, I don't know how we'll bring bring her anywhere at this mm. point. Like, I, I don't want to. I don't want to have to bring her everywhere. <laughs> yeah, we can. We can do all that potion stuff, like, uh, in here. Um, yeah. okay. thank, thank you guys for for helping. Well, of course, like, we're not just going to leave you hanging and leave Angelica hanging, no matter how annoying she was and And rude, but, you know. (laughs) What? We're just going to shit talk Angelica now? Do you think she can hear everything we're saying right now? Probably. Absolutely, yes. But don't worry, Angelica, I, I, I don't really hate you. It's just like, you know competition with people that why why was this your what competition <laughs> your competition with an unconscious student winsler's well, reduced spell this. ends she reverts to her regular size and you hear the pillow under her pop as she just le- lies back Ooh, on it okay um almost Oof. in response to your you're okay. okay what do you guys want to do now mira i was serious class about time, like, isn't it? wanting to help it is class time with, yes oh. with this and everything like elections Whatever you need help with when it comes to Angelica, like I'm. Yeah, 
We'll, yeah. We could always meet up after Thank classes you. today and see. What, yeah, what I'm going to probably, um, I'm going to be trying to go around and get like, um, endorsements and stuff from like some other staff members. Oh, did you hear that Crow called me altruistic? I mean, it was slightly sarcastically, but like that doesn't matter for a poster. <laughs> so I'll probably be chasing those. I wonder how um, he's going to feel when he sees the posters. <laughs> As long as they're up for, you know, until the election happens, who cares? Um, but thank you guys. Uh, Winsler and I, do we have demonology today? I think, do we? Nah, you have other classes today. Let me, let me check my schedule. Ah, mm. shit. I'm always, oh, I'm always, all right. I'm always forgetting. Okay. No, well, we don't have it today. You check, okay. your, you check your schedule. It's other classes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. The other classes. Um, you know, the, 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 the other ones. You probably have like music today, unless I said that was yesterday. <laughs> um, Mira. What's up? W with the uh, dullness and the potion thing, mm. would you, okay, I'm asking this now because if I <laughs> if I ever happen to bump into her and everything like that, do oh. you want Imagine one that. of us to talk to her about it or do you want to talk to her first? I mean, if, if like, you run into her, you can, I don't know, there's no rule about talking to her. You can well, ask I, her about the potion if you want. Um, yeah, but just yeah. maybe not like about me or whatever but yeah no that's that that that's that's fine um Wait, i i want to i want to get it dealt with and hope she'll she'll still want yeah okay um integrity bye. you're putting pieces together in your what's, head are are what's happening are, I'm already at the door. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait. It's Mira runs Winsler, from this do you conversation. think they're broken up? <laughs> guys, 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 guys. I don't know. Guys. I'm I'm so tired. I can't think straight. <laughs> guys, when she uh, is ready to talk about it, she will talk about it. All right, all right. And with that, Mira Marchand, you can run from this conversation. The rest of you can close her door <laughs> we're, for we're her. Just door uh, and head off to your respective magical class i want to say uh um uh we're gonna we're gonna take care of this to angelica laying unconscious on the floor and just like just like a i haven't seen her in a while i was like hi yeah we're here you're gonna, well, you're gonna get are you also gonna give her a little kiss on the cheek before you <laughs> leave hmm? winsler what the heck <laughs> no this is me talking this is no ben i'm putting, this, winsler, I'm put, I'm putting that. this in the story winsler what the heck and and sarah enough you say that out loud i think i yes. would kind of go over because I've been like I've been extra worried so it's kind of like I yeah. kind of like kneeling like hey yeah. um I know with your Mira voice? you say this with your voice I mean she said she used magic to talk to Angelica so but I don't know like the specifics because I assume it's like okay. sure related okay. so you can whisper this in Angelica's ear though. I was like hey um it's Sarah enough I, I don't know how Mira does this um I'm here um I want to I want to help we're going to help and you can stand back up and leave the unconscious lady in the room. I don't know what else. All alone <laughs> for the day. Uh, She's fine. She has her blanket. Yeah. You can head off to classes, and we'll pick up with you guys next time on Trials and Trebuchets, as that's where we're on our episode. Ben, can you give us an outro, please? And thank ah, you. Sure. <laughs> uh, thank you all for listening to this episode of the Trials and Trebuchets. Oh, boy, was this a doozy. I almost cried. Damn <laughs> This is, ac this is actually a true statement. Yeah, uh, please leave it. a review and rating on our Apple Podcast page. We really love hearing from you all. It helps. We don't ever do anything to like put advertisements on the show. So the best way to spread it around is through word of mouth. So that means you going to your friend's place and telling them all about how you love TNT. <laughs> don't knock on the and door. How this is your favorite character and how you, you know all that fun stuff. Yeah. Uh, we also have uh, social media pages yes. for Twitter and Instagram at Trials and Trebs. You can check out some cool stuff like fan art, upcoming mm -hmm. teasers for episodes, and a whole bunch more. It's cute. True. Also, if you make fan art, please tag us. Yes. We love seeing it. This is how right. we see it. Do it, please. Yes. This is an order. <laughs> We're on TikTok. Um, this is an order. And we also have a Discord server. You can find the link uh, yeah. to that in the description below. Join and talk to other fans of the show and, yes. you know, make some cool friends. Debate about what the fuck is going on with Angelica Lindman. Or is talk she, about how- Is she dead or dying? Is, is she, she now <laughs> suddenly going to be Wildcliff's version of, ex, uh, like, you know, Wolverine? Who knows? Um, Dude, be sick. <laughs> Dang. We'll figure that out at some point, I'm sure. I hope. She's dead. She's filled up with lead. Uh, and for those feeling a little extra generous, we also have a Patreon page. We yes. have a variety of tiers that you can subscribe to, and you get a whole bunch of cool goodies, such as DM notes, bloopers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And there's an opportunity to see if you could get a student NPC on the show. It's true. We didn't see any of this episode, though. I thought we were no. going to. I thought you were serious about the, the, the crow giving you <laughs> Next it. time. I was ready for Next that. Time. And last but not least, yeah. we have our wonderful merch. Merchandise. Hangout. Merch hangout. What? Merch hangout. <laughs> yeah, it's where we yeah, hang out right. and give out merch. Trebmerch.com. 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 I'm There's... putting in the hyperlink in, in yeah. the podcast in the right now. Podcast. Click it with your voice. There's uh, newer stickers. There's older stickers. There's a t-shirt about your favorite uh, snake who killed a headmaster while <laughs> golems watched. Um, yeah, go check it out. Thanks, everyone, for playing with me today. Uh, thank you for hosting. Uh, and thank I you will... all for listening. Yeah. Uh, until next time. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye.